After completing an incredible five days in orbit, the Polaris Dawn crew has returned safely to Earth, marking another milestone in space exploration. Despite the mission's unmatched accomplishments, it has not received the attention it deserves from government agencies. In addition to its primary goal, the Polaris Dawn mission set an incredible record by contributing to the increase in the number of humans in orbit. Meanwhile, China continues to advance its efforts with reusable rockets, intensifying its rivalry with SpaceX. Thank you for supporting us. Click subscribe, like, and share so we are more enthusiastic about making interesting videos every day. In today's episode of NR Studio, let's get started. After an incredible five days in orbit, the Polaris Dawn mission officially ended on the morning of September 15th, marking another significant milestone for SpaceX. The re-entry process began with the Dragon truck being jettisoned to burn up in orbit, while the capsule continued its descent, aided by its propulsion system and parachutes. At exactly 3.37 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, the Dragon capsule splashed down near the dry Tortugas in the Gulf of Mexico, west of Key West, Florida. Within an hour, a retrieval ship arrived to retrieve the astronauts and capsule. As the hatch opened, the joy on the astronauts' faces was palpable, signaling the mission's success. The Polaris Dawn mission faced a variety of risks, including radiation, space debris, and the first test of SpaceX's EVA suit during a 700-kilometer spacewalk. Despite these challenges, the crew managed to achieve significant milestones, including reaching the highest orbit since Apollo 17 and successfully testing uninterrupted Starlink communications with a 40-minute call to SpaceX headquarters. The mission's success drew a significant response from the space community. At a post-mission press conference, mission commander Jared Isaacman enthusiastically declared, Polaris Dawn, we have completed our mission. Thank you for your incredible help in coordinating this mission. Astronaut Anna Menon, the first Polaris Dawn astronaut to tweet, simply said, Amazing. SpaceX's X page reported, Dragon and the Polaris Dawn crew safely landed off the coast of Florida, marking the successful completion of the Polaris program's first human spaceflight mission, along with a visual of the capsule's retrieval and the crew's jubilant return to Earth. SpaceX founder Elon Musk shared his excitement on Twitter, saying, Welcome back to Earth, and later adding a heartfelt message, the Polaris crew is back home safe and sound. SpaceX COO Gwyn Shotwell also expressed her relief and welcome, saying, I'm thrilled to welcome you home. This mission exceeded my expectations in incredible ways. Former NASA astronaut Chris Hadfield praised the team, stating, Congratulations on successfully executing a mission that is so complex and beyond the pale. This achievement bodes well for the future. However, it is worth noting that the government agency did not provide significant recognition. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson congratulated the team on September 12th after the first commercial space flight, calling it a significant step forward for the commercial space industry and in line with NASA's goal of fostering a thriving U.S. space economy. Beyond that, however, there has been a lack of further acknowledgement from NASA, the FAA, or SpaceX's major competitors such as Boeing, Blue Origin, and ULA. This lack of enthusiasm raises concerns about whether the U.S. government fully recognizes SpaceX's critical role in maintaining America's leadership in the aerospace sector, especially given growing competition from China. Interestingly, while U.S. government agencies remain silent, China's space agency offered its congratulations, stating, Congratulations on another step forward for mankind with special thanks to the astronauts who demonstrated that anyone in average health not only has the physical ability to travel to space, but can also perform spacewalks with the hope of reducing the cost of space travel. The contrast in responses highlights the inequity in how SpaceX's accomplishments are perceived domestically versus internationally. Nonetheless, SpaceX's accomplishment with Polaris Dawn remains undeniable further solidifying the company's position as a leader in modern space exploration. The mission was a technical and operational success, demonstrating SpaceX's technological prowess. The crew achieved a series of critical milestones that will lay the groundwork for future missions, including a potential rescue mission for Hubble, as previously suggested, and more importantly, a similar mission with the Starship spacecraft. Isaac Mann himself has teased future plans involving Starship, 
a project that is poised to revolutionize space travel. However, despite these notable accomplishments, SpaceX continues to encounter obstacles, especially from the FAA. Starship Flight 5, which has the potential to usher in a new age in aerospace with its groundbreaking landing technique, has been postponed due to regulatory hurdles from the FAA. Although SpaceX has demonstrated its capacity for innovation and exploration, the delays imposed by the FAA have impeded its advancements. The insufficient backing from the U.S. has further compounded this issue. Government agencies worsen the challenge, as Musk emphasized the need for significant governmental improvements to prevent increasingly restrictive laws and regulations. SpaceX remains resilient amid challenges, with the upcoming release of valuable data from Polaris Dawn mission. This mission showcases SpaceX's potential beyond low Earth orbit. The company's continuous innovation in space sets the foundation for humanity's future in space. Despite lack of government attention, the global community closely follows SpaceX's milestone achievements in space exploration. Press outlets actively support SpaceX and its pursuit of greater accomplishments. The evolution of space exploration is unfolding in front of us, offering us a unique opportunity to witness it firsthand. Stay updated for more information on this remarkable journey. Recently, Polaris Dawn made a significant contribution by setting a new record for the number of individuals in orbit. Following the arrival of Russia's Soyuz spacecraft at the ISS on September 11th, the total number of people in orbit reached 19, surpassing last year's record of 17. Currently, there are 12 astronauts aboard the ISS, with NASA having seven astronauts and Roscosmos having seven astronauts, five astronauts. China's Tiangong Space Station is home to three Taikonauts. The Polaris Dawn mission added four astronauts to this count. While the Soyuz mission directly contributed to this new record, the role of Polaris Dawn should not be underestimated. With the return of four astronauts, only 15 individuals remain in orbit. Additionally, SpaceX has been vital in supporting and sustaining ISS operations for many years. Let's not forget about Starliner's involvement, which although not devoid of issues, led to two Starliner astronauts staying in orbit to assist and are scheduled to return on Dragon early next year, further contributing to the record. Given the circumstances, a lighthearted acknowledgement towards Boeing may be appropriate. Space exploration is increasingly accessible, benefiting a wide range of individuals. SpaceX continues to play a crucial role in driving this advancement. Looking ahead with further developments, including the upcoming use of Starship, we can anticipate even more groundbreaking accomplishments in the coming future. Shifting focus to China, their most recent update on reusable rocket technology is of interest. On September 11th, Chinese launch startup Landspace successfully conducted a vertical liftoff and landing test at the Jiuquan spaceport, marking a significant step in the development of a reusable orbital rocket. The test, carried out around 12 a.m. Eastern Time, validated the vertical takeoff and landing, or VTVL, recovery capabilities of the Jiuquan 3 VTVL-1 rocket. The flight lasted 200 seconds and included China's first secondary ignition during a VTVL test. The rocket reached an altitude of 10,002 meters, with the engine shutting off after 113 seconds, followed by a gliding descent. The landing burn began at 4,640 meters, resulting in the rocket touching down just 1.7 meters from the center of the launch pad, located 3.2 kilometers from the launch site. Earlier in January, Landspace conducted a 350-meter VTVL test using the same Jukuan 3 VTVL-1 test article. This recent test incorporated a new four-piece grid fin system further improving its control and recovery capabilities. The Jiuquan-3 rocket, constructed of stainless steel and powered by methalox or methane liquid oxygen, is intended to function as a reusable launcher. It will reach a height of 76.6 meters, have a diameter of 4.5 meters, and weigh 660 tons during liftoff. Equipped with nine Tianshui 12B engines, its payload capacity to low Earth orbit LEO will vary. 21 tons when disposable, 18.3 tons with first stage downrange recovery, and 12.5 tons when returning to the launch site. Landspace aims to conduct its first orbital flight in 2025, with the objective of recovering and reusing the first stage in 2026. This successful test, 
combined with two missions last year, illustrates the company's substantial ambitions in reusable rocket technology. As land space progresses, the pressure increases for SpaceX and Starship to further their own efforts in reusable space technology. However, SpaceX currently faces regulatory hurdles from the FAA that may impede progress. The U.S. must swiftly overcome these obstacles to maintain a lead over China's expanding capabilities. With SpaceX's capabilities, I am confident they will rise to the challenge. But for now, we must wait and observe. That concludes today's episode. Thank you.